Oh my god, welcome back. Hello. Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie with the controllers. So, we were talking a lot about beer and alcohol in the last one. Do we want to keep going with that conversation? Uh, yeah, if you have more to say about it, sure. Um, uh, I think I went over my basics my first times. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this. I mean, this New Year's, I mean. No one really wanted to drink. I mean, I we, I wasn't really. I mean, you were there, and my friend Casey was there, and how many do I have? None of us are really the like heavy drinkers, so we had a pretty tame, pretty tame New Year's Eve. I'm totally blanking on what I'm missing right now. Uh, you're missing notes and jiggies. And no, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where they are. Well, good. You're paying attention. Um, I need the ginger one. I need the one at the top. Oh, I know. Yeah, they're all in this direction. I'm in the right spot. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. I always blank on what I'm missing in this level for some reason. So there's one over here, and there's two on top I'll need. No, I didn't want Excuse me. I'll be taking this. <laughs> Don't you dare touch it! <laughs> you touched the booty. <laughs> he touched the butt. Right. This, so I don't go in the water. Thank you. Uh, so what else do you want to talk about? Anything interesting? Uh, <laughs> let's see. The single note right here. <laughs> Look at it. It's so lonely. Aww. It's okay. I got you. And your 92 friends. Mm -hmm. 91, I should say. I don't want to sound walkthrough-y. <laughs> it's like, well, this is the top of the level. <laughs> that was lovely, Sarah. Thank you. Practice. <laughs> yeah, they can hear us. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to controller. Oh, okay, good. Duh. Um. Uh. Um. Knock knock. Uh, who's there? Um, clams. Clams. Who? Do you not have a punchline? No. <laughs> <laughs> no! Good job! Shut up. Let me see you play better. I probably couldn't. <laughs> TBH. <laughs> okay. We want the witch switch. Aw, oh, shit. And then we gonna go up here to the lighthouse, feeling right at home, Long Island Pride. <laughs> 100 notes. Aw, shit. And the 10th jiggy. Ooh. Mission accomplished. And YOLO. Do you get fall damage in this? Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's the fastest way out of the level. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys! <laughs> That's the first thing I usually try to figure out when I'm in a game. Is like, do I get fall damage from this? <laughs> I don't like when you can't tell if a game automatically saves or not. Oh, yeah. But usually in the beginning, they're like, when you see this symbol, that means that the game has automatically saved. And if they don't say anything, well... <laughs> it's like, am I allowed to save? I don't... I haven't uh -huh. found anything. And then if you're in a game that auto-saves, and you're just, like, walking around, and all of a sudden it's like, auto-save, what's coming up? <laughs> what's gonna happen? So we are, first of all, I guess I'll trigger this little guy over here first. The transportation thing. 
Excuse me, sir. So I'm eating a lollipop right now. Congratulations. And it's watermelon flavored. Okay. Can't say I like it all that much, but... You know, <laughs> here's a topic. I don't like watermelon. I love honeydew. I don't at all. I love honeydew and uh, cantaloupe. I'm a big, nope, I'm I a hate... big, uh, big appreciator of, of those two melons. I hate melons. Mm. I, don't, I don't think there's a single melon I actually like. What are you having against melons? Uh, well, watermelon in particular, I I feel like it's tasteless. Yeah, my dad doesn't like watermelon for like the same reason. Okay, like you know, just I've heard a lot of people say like, "Who doesn't like watermelons?" It's like, um, uh, I like watermelon, but it's pretty much just like sugar water. <laughs> I don't like sugar water. Well, I don't like sugar water either, but like, it has that kind of flavor mixed with like a slight hint of fruit. But then all fake watermelon flavored stuff does not taste like real watermelon, obviously. Um, however, if you ever get anything that's like Japanese and it's honeydew flavored, mm -hmm. tastes just like it. Don't know how they do it. It's amazing. Yeah, I don't think there's anything honeydew flavored in America. I can't think of anything. I'm a big fan of honeydew boba tea. Bubble tea, uh... Yeah. I have. A, I remember the very first time yeah. I hung out. I got yeah. my first bubble tea. Yeah. Got the strawberry one. It's. It was okay. Like, some days I'm kind of in the mood for it, but in most cases I'm just like. The first time I had it, I was like, "This is weird." It throws you off. Like you're yeah. drinking. That's like, whoa. Okay. There, but then the after a while, like now I'm just like, "There's not enough bubbles in this. <laughs> I want more bubbles." It's like you know. I can't say I like it very much, but just, like, some days I'm just like, you know, bubble tea sounds nice. Yeah. Whatever, you know? And they have it at the mall still, and they have it, um, near my mom's house, actually. Yeah. I had a bubble tea last time I was at Comic-Con, and, uh, this, it, this Japanese place, because it was, like, on the walk, on the way to the Javits Center, mm -hmm. and, um, I got a pork bean, or not a bean bun, it was a pork bun. Mm-hmm. And it made me sick. I was oh, nauseous yeah, yeah, the entire yeah, yeah. time. You told me about that. Skull Kid, nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> um, Clanker's Cavern, fuck this shit. Okay, here we go. Um, red Bean um, Yo. Bubble Tea is probably my favorite one. But it's really hard to find. For some reason, I don't know why. It tastes like... Fucking crunch berries. Mm. It's really good. Um, red bean ice cream. Really good. I don't think I've ever had red bean anything. Shit. Um, like, I don't like beans in general. Well, red bean is something that takes a little bit of getting used to. Because it's like, oh, this is like eating sweet refried beans. <laughs> It's definitely interesting, but I like it, um, in, in moderation. Uh, there's a place in New Jersey that I like to go to. It's called Mitsua, and it's a Japanese grocery store with, um, this awesome Japanese cafeteria, and they have, like, legit Japanese food. You go all the way to New Jersey for It's that? like an hour ride, and not that long. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to shake you because they have a cool, um, they have a cool, like, knickknack shop next door as well that's also Japanese. We should and, go. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Have you ever gone back to that one Japanese restaurant that we went to in New York City? Oh, yeah, good. we did actually. Um, I tell people all the time, I should probably tell our viewers about the freaking, um, beef tongue. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, like someone we went with the first time we went, this is Clanker. Oh. Um, like, um, they ordered, because they like ordering like fancy stuff, I guess. She decides to order friggin' beef tongue. And I first, like, it looked good. Wait, is that Megan? Was that her name? Megan? The girl? Uh, the one that your dad was friends with? Yeah. Yeah. Megan. Yeah. Uh, no, Ew, no, he's no. got some sort of. It's, yeah, it's like, I think that's supposed to be kind of gory, to be honest. It looks like it, but he but, also looks like metal. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's the trash compactor. 
Well, by the way, uh, this is the terrifying um, part of the game. I gotta go all the way down here. Where's the guy with the bubbles? <laughs> Gloop. Buddy. I would like to see where I'm going, actually. That would be fantastic. Is that him over there? Okay. Yeah, I know we're talking about the beef tongue, but um, <laughs> this is like the most terrifying thing in this game. There's a lot of terrifying things in this game. I am running out of air. It'd be really fan-fucking-tastic if I... Is. Air bubble, please? Okay. I'm not doing anything till I got my throat. Okay, great. Yeah, this doesn't look like fun. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, oh yeah, so the beef tongue. Um, it looked like just kind of regular steak. And um, so I was like, hey, why not? I'll try it. And um, for the record, everyone, um, beef tongue is basically really, 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 really tender meat. Like, so tender, it's actually kind of disgusting. Beef tongue. <laughs> Great. Okay. Doing okay. And then... There's a lot to do down here. It kind of sucks. <laughs> Great. Okay. That was probably one of the fastest I've ever done that. And, uh, gonna get some more air. I need to get the Jinjo, and then I'll be out of this hellhole. In that same time that we went to that restaurant and you had the beef tongue, um, the, that restaurant in their bathroom has a bidet. Yes, I couldn't figure out how to use it. Everyone else and, tried it and I didn't. Yeah, everybody was like, whoa, bidet. So we all had to like go. One and, at a time. Yeah, we all had to like go in and, and try it. And uh, it was surprising the first time that you use it. Cause it's just like, ooh, what's going on? Why aren't I getting these bubbles? I don't know. I couldn't figure out the um the the buttons at all. Oh, they're usually pretty straightforward. I think there's pictures on them, aren't there? I don't know. I think I was also kind of scared as well. <laughs> well, it's it's only gonna shoot water up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, gonna quickly find this bra. Give me your bubbles, please. Shit. Give me the fucking bubble. Oh, Shh, gloop. There we go. Buddy. <laughs> it's not his fault that you're missing them. I'm not going up until I get all the bubbles. Oh my fuck. <laughs> what the hell? What? They make it seem like you're in front of it, but you're behind it. Oh I my mean god, I'm like, I hate this. I hate this so much bubble okay i'm just gonna go straight up i'm doing it yolo i only have three i don't think i'm gonna make it i might not make it are you really not i might not it's it's a it's a stretch it looks like oh you're god. gonna please make it. please god <laughs> i hate underwater stuff i think you're gonna make it okay yeah okay it. okay <laughs> see i usually i will only go up if i have full life well now you know that you can make it with only three okay <laughs> fantastic well, that's the worst part of this level. There's another one that's kind of risky, but it's uh, it's not nearly as bad. The rest of this level's alright. That's like, just... Yeah, we should go back to that restaurant. They have really good noodles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got their, um... No, their, I've... Their cold noodles. I've never no, gone to the, um... The ramen place you keep telling me about. Oh, yeah! I've never been to a real ramen place. Matt and I have been wanting to go back there. I've just been waiting for my tax return before I go because I don't want to go with no money. I'm getting 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is a little pathetic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I honestly like, don't know how much I'm getting. I've just been waiting for it to come in. Actually, I think last be year... deposited into my account. Last year, I think I got, like, something even more, like, ridiculous. Like, $3. <laughs> <laughs> It's because, in case you haven't figured it out, viewers, I don't really have jobs, usually. <laughs> it's hard for me to find a job. I am one really, really, really terrible at uh, retail. Like, that that's not a joke. That's not me being lazy. I am just legit terrible at retail. And, um... Uh... Yeah, and I can't find a friggin' job in my 
field because America. Yeah. I would tell you to come work where I work, but it's far and it's a lot of physical labor. Let's do this. Well, I'm okay with physical labor. Honestly, I probably would be a lot happier doing like carpentry or something <laughs> than like working in a freaking like store where I have to do customer service. Well, it's service. a lot of physical labor, and but you just the only thing that you have to deal with is cats. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, um, yeah, but it's also too far. Yeah, me, like I was you say, said. it's it's a good half an hour away from you. All right, I'm gonna defeat these losers, and then we will end the episode. Okie doke. They're mutants. Join me, Teenage Mutant Ninja Crabs! Teenage Mutant Ninja Crabs! Heroes in an all shell. Crabby power. Crusty crab. <laughs> Big meaty claws! <laughs> I'm a god! No, Squidward, you're a cashier. <laughs> Best line the in that movie. Used to... Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> no more. Uh, okay, let's get our jiggy and be done. Alright, we will see you on the next episode of Controllers, everybody. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.